Hey, welcome. How you doing? I'm here for a new one topic tip video. We're dealing with bass. And this is a new library using some new features coming in Unify 1.9. Videos will be coming up this week showing you these new features. We've got a really cool effect called CC Writer, which is doing all sorts of modulation like an LFO to MIDI CCs. So you can now send to any MIDI CC a cool LFO shape, which lets you change any parameter of any plugin, of multiple plugins. It's, it's insane. It's a really, really great addition to Unify, and it's a free update. We're releasing it later this week. But today, I got to get this library done. And one thing that I found out is that one of my base patches that I've created, which is this huge, cool, beautiful, these are all looped, right? Well, wiretap is not looped. It plays and stops. So if your song needs to sustain out longer than this, even though I'm holding down the note, it's <laughs> it stops. So one topic tips number nine was covering the starts of making samples, getting them into the sample editor for the mapping. Today, I'm gonna show you another free program that Bjorn has created called Endless Wave that lets you easily loop samples. Um, it's one of these things, a lot of people don't get into sampling, but sampling is so fun because this is where you can make cool sounds and turn them into samples. So you can make something that's really complex using lots of different layers, all sorts of things. So now it's something you can play just as a stereo sample, but you need to loop it so that it can like, you know, you gotta be making your face, playing it. It needs to keep playing. It can't stop. So we have a technique called looping, and I'm gonna show you how it works, how to do it, how the tools work. So if you right click and say reveal in Finder, it will reveal the patches for the library. For a lot of you, your samples are gonna be on a hard drive in a folder, that's totally okay. Uh, they can still be mapped and used in Unify without having to be put into these specific folders in this specific location. Because I'm making a library that I'm going to be making available that you can buy a license to use, I have to have everything a little bit more organized. So everything is all inside of the Plugin Guru Unify Libraries folder. Again, it's not how it has to be for you. But you want to take the samples, the steps for this. So we go to base. Um, here is the Razor file. So we go to Razor here for wiretap. If I drag this over sample mapper, buddy, like this, and this is the map, and I can click one and I can hit play, and it plays, but it doesn't loop. It just fades out, right? Well, I need it to play and loop. So what I need to do is go down here to my samples folder, and here is wiretap right here. The other program that we need to use is called Endless Wave. And these two programs are available right here on bjornbar.de and down here for PC or Mac, you take a sample, you drag it into Endless Wave and here it is. And I can hit the space bar and it will play. Now, what I need to do, what a loop in sample terminology means is that you create by holding down shift where you click and you drag. And this creates the sample loop start and the sample loop end. So now when I hit play, it loops, but it clicks. So there's a couple things we could do. If we go over here to edit, there is an auto adjust, which is a uh, command shift S by doing this, uh, endless wave will actually look and find if it can find a place where really close. And then if you go over here, these are your crossfade parameters for what type of crossfade. I like to use this combi crossfade here for an S curve. Right here is your crossfade parameter. And if you click this, you see how it's 
it's looking into the beginning before the sample loop start and fading in to the end. So now, let's make it a little bit longer. And it's distorting, so let's bring this so that we see the, the waveform update. There. I want to see it without fading and distorting and being smooth. Beautiful. That's a loop I can live with. There is another key command. Command Shift N will set it to the next sample in this list in your folder. Save and close. And it deletes all the, the sample information after the sample loop end. So on that one step, if I say Command Option P, it will go back to the previous. Here it is. Command Shift N and I get to the next sample. And I hit these nice and hard, didn't I? <laughs> Maybe a little bit too hard, but they will loop. So if we hold down our Shift key and click and drag and then Command Shift S. That's really close. So just add a little bit of a crossfade to this and it's overdriving. So let's find another point where it doesn't do that, but it still looks really nice and natural. Like it's going to like not be a big, uh, let's see. Let's make this a little bit longer. Hear the distortion. We don't want that. So let's find a point where and if this isn't updating, you can hit, I believe X is the key that will let it update to show you what the crossfade is going to look like. Because you really want to be able to see that when you're doing the looping to make sure that it's there. That works. Great. Uh, Shift command in. Yes. And you just go down the list and you loop each of the samples. I'm a, I'm a big proponent in doing this by hand. As you can see, this is not something you can automate. You need to have visual feedback. It's one of these things. I It's part of the artistic process for me. I, uh, a little bit of distortion, so let's make it a little bit longer. maybe a little bit more favorable for the shape. Okay, I like that. I want the energy to stay up. So there we go. Command shift in. Go to the next sample. Oh, wait, it sees it was clipped. So say don't save, go back to the previous, do it one more time. Uh, it will tell you if it's going to clip. Don't save it with clipping. It's best if you don't clip. You can use some of these different looping options. This one right here is great at adding no amplitude. There. So let's use that option. Yes. So they have different tools here to help you out along the process. As you go up in pitch, it's going to get to where um, now I'm holding down shift. Click and drag, and then shift command S. It'll analyze. Pretty close. Uh, but let's go over here and just add a little bit of crossfade. Great. Command shift in. Yes. Go to the next one. Command shift S. Crossfade. Nice. So I have more samples to do. Uh, <laughs> we'll just keep doing them. Analyze. Sometimes it takes a while to analyze everything. That's loud. I don't know if there's a playback volume here. I'll just turn down the volume in the video so it's not so loud to you guys, but it's loud here. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so let's get a little crossfade. Yeah, I'm gonna. My ears are not worth blowing over looping. <laughs> so. There. Command Shift N. Go to the next one. So let's get a loop. It's fine. And now we go to the G samples. Back to the G1. So let's give it the big body of it. Command Shift S. Found a nice close spot. the next and just do this for each sample that's really close let's just give it a little bit of smoothing there. shift s uh, let's give you just a little bit <clears throat> earlier in the beginning. Nice. I like that motion. Okay. I know I have a lot of that like uh, look on my face as I'm looking at the waveforms. That's just the way it is when you're like listening. You're just like, huh? <laughs> just a slight pop so the crossfade just smooths it all out beautiful command shift in let's do the rest of these See, it's analyzing here. Little click goes away with a little. Nice. All right, that's it. <laughs> now we're into a different sample, so we don't need to loop those. Um, so let's see, save, no. Now, we have updated the samples themselves. They're much smaller in size, as you can see. If we go over here and we go to the load button in this SFC map editor, we can hit load and we can hit, let me move this down here so you can see it, update all files in the groups to have the sample end, set sample start is the same, but loop end, say update all the files. This updates all of them. So I can now go save. And now when I go back to unify and I call up this base patch, it's looped. It's updated the loop points. So they're here. That's one of the nice things with this two step process is you can update the files and then resave it. Don't have to rebuild it. And now they're looped. Beautiful, beautiful thing. And some waveforms you will find it's super, super fast because they're not as complex. But this with the moving and the motion, it was a little bit more work for some of the crossfades. But again, that's one of the reasons why it's really nice that there's these six different types of crossfades. Um, equal power is a favorite of mine for pads. But when you get into complex sounds that are full waveform, you can use these other options which incorporate the crossfade of phase without amplitude, which is really, really nice. So those tools are available. And just like that, I've taken a bass that didn't loop and made it loop. So hope you enjoyed this video. Again, videos on 1.9 coming very soon. Thanks for your support as always, and we'll see you later.